How's it going, adventurers? Seraph here. I'm standing outside the Spiral Abyss with Kamisato Ayato. I did have to use some Genesis Crystal Top Up to obtain him because my 50 50 was a fail, but in my opinion, it wasn't really a fail. I actually got Mona, C2 Mona now, so I'm pretty happy about that. But I had to use a little bit of Genesis Crystals to obtain Ayato here. He's pretty awesome. I hope you can get him. You've got uh, two and a half weeks to try to get him. And I would use every source available in game if you're free to play. From the Spiral Abyss to all the treasure that's available now in the new region, the Chasm, um, events that are going to come. And also, that's the point of this video, is we want to go to the shop right now. And as of, well, today, uh, both the Asia servers and the Western servers now have access to everything in the shop. I do need to get an account created so I can actually do this um, on the Asia side a day early. But until I do that, because it'll be a free-to-play account as well, um, we're going to go ahead and go go ahead and go to this one here on day two. Western servers now have access. We want to go to the Stardust Exchange. And don't forget to buy these up on all your accounts. Everybody should always have enough of the Stardust to get these because just doing standard wishes, you get quite a bit of Stardust. So right there, that's 10 wishes. I know five of them are in the permanent banner, but the five um, acquaints, no, it's the five intertwined fates. That's what it is. I get those two confused. The five intertwined fates right there. That could be what you need to get your Kamisato Ayato if you're going for him or if you're saving up for future characters. So never miss out on that. Um, this shop rotation, unfortunately, we're back to the weapons that you don't really want to get your hands on. The royal weapons, unfortunately. They're just not worth it, in my opinion. You want to wait for the Black Cliff and they won't be around again for another uh, 30 days. Well, for some reason in my head, I thought the shop reset was 40 days. I guess I'm thinking of the Battle Pass. Anyways, uh, for another uh, 30 days, we're going to have these roll weapons, so that gives you time to save up for the Black Cliff. You're need if you're needing weapons with uh, crit damage on them, the Black Cliff are definitely the way to go. Okay, so my suggestions with this shop, too, if you're able to get your hands on her, definitely get Amber. Um, I know it's 34 uh, Star Glitter, which I'm actually out of right now. I hope to do some more wishing from uh, in-game events myself, Prima Gems from the Spiral Abyss, and uh, daily logins, daily... Um, commissions and just everything in game free to play. I'm going to be saving up and then doing some more wishes to push me closer to the next 50-50 uh, or the next character I want. And I hopefully will get enough of the Star Glitter doing that because I do want to get Amber before this goes away. So I fully intend to buy this Amber from this shop because the three major characters, the three starting characters in the game, Kaya, Amber, and Lisa, are honestly as rare as a six star. You just can't get your hands on them unless you buy them from this um, this shop when they show up. Or if you get lucky, and I mean like really, really lucky from the permanent banner or other sources, sometimes the weapon banner can actually give these characters. It's pretty rare. They're, they're hard to get, if not impossibly hard to get. So I highly recommend you get Amber. Razor, um, it just depends. I don't know when he would show up in a uh, character summon again, but I would say don't worry about Razor. He'll be around in the future from one of those, and that'll be an easier source to obtain him. But I don't know if they're ever going to put the three major starter characters in a banner. They haven't yet, and it's been almost... Two years this game has been out, so that's my recommendations on that. Um, that's it for this video. Didn't want to get into depth too much, just uh, wanted to state all that. Now, if you've got the extra Stardust, I would also recommend that you, uh, you buy up the Adventures Experience. It's worth it. Anyways, if you were to take this Adventures Experience and divide it by four, because Adventures Experience is one-fourth of what a Hero's Wit is, it's somewhere between 70 and 80 Hero's Wit that you just bought there. So it's definitely worth it. And then the other thing, too, is I would buy up the uh, Mora here. It's worth it. That's uh, 300,000 Mora for very little uh, Stardust. It just depends on if you have, have it to spare. And honestly, too, I'm hurting really bad for these missing enhancement ores. I got a lot of weapons that need that. So that's that's me on that. I had it to spare. If you don't, save up and make sure you always have enough to get Dust of Azoth when you need it. Because um, that's easy to tap out on. And uh, also, like I said, the, ma the majority thing, the major thing is the wishes. So that's it for this video. Um, just wanted to put that out there. Hope you appreciate it. If you do, like, follow, subscribe, and leave comments. And good luck with your summons. I'll put out a new video again on uh, the Battle Pass. I want to give some tips and advice on that. Everybody should be working on that, whether you're free to play or purchasing um, you know, the Gnostic Hammer, the Gnostic Chorus. But yeah, I'll catch you on the next one, Adventures.